everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Ocean's Cup Cozy. Now this is a wonderfully easy crochet cup cozy to make. It's going to work up fairly quickly and you can use any worsted weight cotton yarn that you might have on hand. You can leave them plain as I have or add a button or another type of embellishment to it if you'd like. Now the wonderful thing about cotton is that it does have a little bit of stretch without stretching too much. So I have, I'll just pull back here, I've worked mine so that it can fit around a travel mug, but they'll work fit around any other type of mug as well. They're just absolutely wonderful to have on hand. Today for the tutorial, you're going to need a worsted weight or medium weight number four cotton, 100% cotton because those are the best for insulation. And uh, I think I used the Bernat Handicrafter cotton for these two. Today I'm going to be working with a little bit of Pima cotton by Lion Brand. Again, it's 100% uh, cotton and it's a worsted weight yarn. You're also going to need an H8 or a five millimeter crochet hook. A copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com there's links in the description of this video to take you directly there you're also going to need a stitch marker and then a yarn needle for weaving in your ends as far as how much cotton you're going to need you're only going to need about 40 yards or so one ball of cotton to make the cup cozy so let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started now our Ocean's Cup Cozy pattern today, it is worked in rounds, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain today will uh, be 30 chains. You can change the size, just simply chain an even number of stitches. I'm going to chain 30. And 30. Once you've chained 30, being careful not to twist that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to begin row one, round one by working two single crochet stitches, first chain one, and then work two single crochet stitches into that same stitch as joining. Skip the next stitch and into your next stitch work two single crochets. Skip the next stitch into the next stitch work two single crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around until one stitch remains. When you come all the way around at the end of round one, you're not going to join. You're going to skip that final stitch and you're going to skip the first stitch. For round two and uh, rounds three through to 16, this is what you're going to do. You're going to skip that first stitch. You're going to insert your hook working through the center of the next stitch. So when you look at the post of your next single crochet, you have these two vertical lines coming down. You're going to insert your hook right in between those two lines. So insert your hook. It does help to keep your stitches quite loose when you are working these stitches. So single crochet and then work another single crochet again, working right through the center of the post of the stitch. Go ahead and mark that first stitch. You're then going to skip the next stitch and once again working through the center of the post of the next stitch, insert your hook and work two single crochet stitches. 
skip the next stitch and repeat. Work two single crochet stitches working through the center of the next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around for row two. When you come all the way around at the end of round two, you can remove your stitch marker. For rounds three through to 16, you're going to skip that next stitch and then repeat your round two. So working in through the center of that next stitch, work two single crochet stitches. Be sure to replace your stitch marker. Skip the next stitch and into the center of your next stitch, work two single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way around and continue. You're going to do this until you have a total of 16 rounds. If you'd like to make your cup cozy shorter or longer, you can just add a few more rounds or a few less rounds and then meet me back here and we're going to work a simple edging around both sides of the cup cozy. Once you have worked your 16 rounds, you're going to remove your stitch marker and then join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for the top, you're then going to work your edging. For the top, you can leave your hook attached, your yarn attached. And what you're going to do is you're going to simply work a slip stitch into each stitch all the way around. So slip stitch into that first stitch and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way around the top of your cup cozy. Once you come all the way around working your slip stitches into each stitch all the way around. You can join with a slip stitch into the first slip stitch and then fasten off. You can go ahead and weave in that end or weave it in after you're finished but then you're going to turn the cup cozy around and join your yarn with a slip stitch into any stitch. You're then going to once again chain one and slip stitch into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to fasten off, or join with the slip stitch, sorry, in, in that first stitch, and then fasten off, weave in any ends, and your Ocean's Cup Cozy is complete. You may find that you do need to stretch it out a little bit. Again, that's the great thing about cotton is it stretches just a little bit and, uh, and then it stops and then you can fit it on to your cup of choice. That's all there is to work in the Ocean's Cup Cozy. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.